Hello friends, Vibhor here. Welcome back to the channel. Whoever knows me, they know that I am the Apple boy. But then there are some things for which you actually require Windows on your system. Uh, that can be playing the latest games which are available only on Windows. Or maybe in my case, I want the Oracle database to be on my system. Unfortunately, Oracle database is not supported in Mac OS. So definitely I'm installing Windows. I'm using the bootcamp method to install a clean copy of Windows operating system. So if this is something which you are looking forward to do on your machine just follow along i'm going to tell you step by step method to install windows on your any mac that you have i'll try to make it as simple as possible and that's always my motive uh, that is why i have this youtube channel just to share the knowledge that i gain on my day-to-day -day activities through working in it and also in the process learning something new so if you're new here guys and you are into this stuff please consider subscribing so enough jibba jabber. Let's jump into the system and see how this can be done. All right, guys, we are in the system now. So uh, to get this thing going, first and foremost, you would require the Windows ISO image, the Windows 10 installer. Uh, for that, just head over to the website from Microsoft for the Windows 10 downloading page. The link is there in the description section below. Select the latest version of Windows 10 that you would require. Click on confirm and this is going to give you a valid request and you can start downloading. Just select your language uh, i'm going to select english international and then confirm and it's going to start downloading the windows iso image on your system so this is going to take some time guys like uh, this is 5.27 gb for me it's saying around uh, maybe roughly it's going to take around 15 to 20 minutes uh, once this is downloaded we'll continue our process of installing Okay, so I have my Windows 10 downloaded now. So I have the ISO image right over here. Now to do the installation, we need to start the Bootcamp Assistant. But before you do the Bootcamp Assistant changes anywhere in the system, you should please have a backup done of your entire system. For that, you can go to Time Machine Preferences and backup your system right now. I've already done my backup. If you do not know how to set up a Time Machine, I'll leave a link in the description section above. Uh, go ahead. Uh, watch that video, see how the time machine backup is done, do the time machine backup and come back. Once that is done, uh, we'll go and start the bootcamp assistant. From the bootcamp assistant, it's going to give you some warning that the data is going to be changed and blah, blah, blah. Uh, click on continue. This is going to remove all your cache files and everything and make space for the windows to actually load. Now this has already picked uh, the windows 10 for me. Uh, but it has picked in the wrong location uh, over here i'm going to give it the location where my windows 10 iso is which is there on the desktop i'll click on that now it has the link for the windows 10 iso here you have to give the partition size for your windows partition i'm going to give 100 gigs that's more than enough for me but if you're using it for uh, uh, say probably gaming or something you might need more space uh, that all depends on how much space you have in your Mac operating system. My SSD over here is 512 GB. I am okay to give 100 GB to Windows and that's it. That, that's what I'm going to give. So after this, you click on install. It is going to do the partition of your hard drive. The hard drive is going to be partitioned. Uh, it is going to give 100 GB in my case to the Windows operating system and of course i forgot to put it on the power now i've put it on the power and yep i'll click on continue and yep it is on power source now anyways so yeah uh, just keep in mind that uh, you should have your mac on the power source because if the battery dies and still in the process of doing the partition you might lose your critical data from your mac operating system as well now this might take some time guys uh, i don't anticipate a lot of time but let's see it is going to download the windows support software online so just be patient it is right now contacting the windows microsoft server it needs all the drivers for the mac that you have it is downloading the drivers for that system once that is downloaded it is going to restart your system and then uh, start the windows installation process
All right, so after doing everything, it is actually going to restart your system. I was, thankfully I was doing the recording on the camera itself as well as uh, on the other hand, I was doing recording on my, uh, on my screen. And it did not let me uh, save my, my screen at all. But yeah, it just restarted. So getting that Windows logo right over there, that actually means that everything is going on perfect and it is now in the, in the Windows installation process. That's a very, very good sign over there. If this does not come up and it boots again in your Mac operating system, that means something wrong has already happened and you need to restart your process entirely. Now this, uh, now because we are in the Windows installation process, that actually means that our partition for 100 GB for Windows has been created in Windows NTFS format. Now it's going to ask us uh, for the various installation parameters for Windows. Click on accept the license and it is going to use the standard Windows installation parameters it's going to copy the files, do the installations, install all the features. I will uh, just fast forward this section altogether and then we'll see once the installation is completed. Now because mine is MacBook Pro which is i7 and it has got a 16 GB of RAM, the installation process is going to be much faster. Uh, if you have an older version of MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or probably an older Mac system, uh, this can actually take a lot of time. So just be patient. Once this installation completes, do not forget to see the end of this video because at the end, I'm going to give you the software that you need to install on the Windows so that you can switch back and forth from Windows and Mac. Otherwise, uh, you will be stuck on one of the operating system. And if you're getting any value addition from this video, guys, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. So it did multiple restarts for me, precisely it did three restarts. After the restarts, we are finally in the Windows initial setup. Uh, so just give the parameters for the windows, the layouts and everything. And once that is done, you will be definitely into the windows operating system. Now this is not the end guys, because once you install your windows operating system, you would require to install the bootcamp setup in the windows itself. I will tell you once we go in the Windows operating system how you can install that bootcamp assistant over here because that is going to make the Windows and Mac talk, talk to each other and then you can seamlessly switch between the two operating systems. All right, beautiful. So finally we are in the Windows operating system and it is going to do its own installations. More or less all of the uh, drivers would have been installed, but there might be still some drivers. If you go to device manager, there might be one or two things here and there which are not installed. See, there is a USB input device. Uh, which still needs human intervention. Then there are some other PCI peripheral devices and everything. Uh, before we install this, uh, there would be an installer right on your screen to install the bootcamp assistant. Go ahead, install it as soon as you go into your Windows operating system. This is crucial because this is going to have all your uh, package files, all your support files, and this is going to actually uh, make you move from one operating system to another operating system seamlessly and easily. So just let it install. Uh, it should take a couple of minutes anyways. Yeah, once this is installed, there would be many, uh, many drivers which are also going to be installed with this. And uh, many of your peripheral devices will also be installed with this installation. During this process, there might be a lot of flickering uh, on your system. 
uh, that is quite normal because in the backend it might be installing your display drivers and all the drivers of the peripheral devices so just let it finish the entire process be patient if you are getting any value addition from this video guys please do like this video and subscribe to my channel this gives me a huge motivation and and i would be creating more videos like this for you in the future that's installing all the drivers for all the devices let it finish that and after that we are going to restart our system beautiful we are booted in our windows operating system everything is installed guys so now if you go to device manager you'll see all these softwares have been installed so windows have installed all the software after installing the boot camp so this installation is done if you want to go back to the mac operating system simplest way to do it is go to the boot camp assistant over here click on that and then you can restart in mac operating system let's do that so it's just going to restart your system and take you to your mac operating system from mac also you have a boot camp assistant you can restart to your windows in a breeze So there you go guys we are in the mac operating system now so in the same mac book pro i've got windows as well as mac operating system in separate partitions all together and if i go to this utility i can see there are three partitions now there's another partition called uh, boot cam which is 100 gb and now the mac operating system is 399 gb so guys that's the simple way through which you can install uh, using boot camp windows on your mac operating system i hope you like this if you got any validation from this video please do like and subscribe to this channel i will see you again in my next video guys see ya